creeping along. Uh, and then P P tax fell, which is not great. Uh, that's concerning. Um, let's see. Uh, Bo wants to go to Avondale because they have specialists about ancient artifacts. <clears throat> and he's hoping to get information on the, uh, the three artifacts of coral that will help grant him legitimacy so that he can take over Bravoy. Um, we finally got to figure out what was happening with Maddie. And the point was that Maddie, uh, even though we had forgotten because we've been with her so long, is that um, she makes people forget things. And so people started forgetting her and then being like, who the hell are you? Why are you on our boat? And lots of bad stuff happened. Um, and she had to get off the boat. And um, near Shimmerford, Ford, Shimmerford, 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 um, <clears throat> Shimmerford. And then, um, she, <laughs> oh man, she, um, she ran into, I, I guess that's hag territory of the mosquito witch who was like, Hey, what's up? Why are you in my territory making bad things happen? What's going on? Who are you? And, uh, I was like, you should definitely get out of there. Uh, so I, I, I guess Maddie got out of there. Hopefully we'll see. Um, yeah. Uh, and then. It's either this month or the next month. I'm not sure. One of the months, um, I Asa goes to. I think it's the sixth month that she goes to kill this. But um, Asa sort of meets and talks to the mayor and starts offering her services to enchant um, uh, weapons and stuff because Mivon's hasn't had a huge uh, market for that because their duels don't allow that sort of thing. I don't think. Uh, but now that they are preparing for potential war, uh, they have um, uh, have decided to use her services, which is great. I'm making tons of money. Uh, Asa has a whole a whole cadre of orphans running shit and doing stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, Asa tested the stupid fucking weird plant life. Um, it eats blood and magic, which is great. Uh, it's definitely not terrestrial. Um, it re requires a certain environment to thrive. So we think that it's kind of like terraforms the environment um, in order to survive. And so it'll start encroaching upon other territories and alter them. But it needs time to do that. Lisa spread word to the people around there. I don't know who's left. Uh, to use fire. Real fire, not magical fire. But real fire will destroy it. Um, let's see. Bo met with this Noel Sage Strazakar, I think. Um, and learned lots of fun stuff. The scepter was wielded by Coral, perhaps. Um, controls dragons. There's an orb. Oh, there's an orb for divine dragons. Oh, okay. They control different types of dragons because there's primal, divine, and uh, the other one. Beast. Chromatic? Huh? Beast. 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 The occult dragon orb was made into the scepter. The primal uh, dragon orb was made into the crown. And the arcane orb was made into the ring. There you go. Divine orb is unknown. Hmm. All right, well, there you go. Uh, and then let's see. Um, a Cyclops has the crown uh, to get rid of the curse on the um, ring. We might need a rod of cancellation that could potentially do it. And then uh, also lots of research might be able to undo it. Um, let's see. Uh, and then month seven, March. Wow. We made, wow. Uh, news spreads that Restov has t sort of turned against Coral. Um, so hopefully there's going to start being some resistance, uh, and we can, um, mount something against Coral. Uh, I mean, he's got evil plant life headed his way, and it's a really terrible winter, though it might be letting up now that it's March. Um, and then Dorthra, I think, finished... Or at least as close to finishing the thing that she needs to be able to locate a rask. Yeah, she will at the start of the first month that we do when we start the game. Okay. 
Did I miss that? Restov turned against Coral? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I fucking had COVID brain, so I missed, like, <laughs> most of what happened last session, but... Yeah, I, I, know, I, know you I know you reacted to it, because, like, when you said, you are like, oh, they, they turned. Mm. But you might have forgotten. I probably, I mean, yeah, I don't remember anything from last Monday. Well, fortunately, it wasn't last Monday, because I was sick. Oh, well, Monday. you're right. Two Mondays ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, we're lost in the sauce. All right. The sauce is lost. The sauce lost. The lost. So, anyway. Now, there was one more thing that I didn't get to at the time. But while Bo was talking to the sage yeah. uh, at Avondale, uh, a guy by the name of Strasagor, uh, he would end up recounting a tale about... Uh, uh, from Rogarvia. Uh, sorry, from uh, Bravoy. Um, this would have come up in one of the sort of longer conversations that he had with the sage. Um, and I'm just going to read it out uh, instead of trying to contextualize it. But this is what the sage would have told him. Okay. Brestal, uh, Brevoy has long since been a land of legends. Even back in the days of Issy and Rosslyn, the people of Bravoy have always cherished their stories. Stories of adventure, triumph, greatness, and despair. While most of these tales are skewed towards inspiring heroics, there are some that are told as tales of warning. All know the story of Coral the Conqueror, the relentless wave of fury that crashed upon Issy and Rosslyn and forced their leadership to submit, either through fleeing, taking a knee, or accepting death. In the wake of Coral, though, other entities emerged in the region. There was Pavarosh, the Lightless Flame, Calamity's Harbinger, Tekatotl, the Many-Eyed, the Candles in the Dark, and Kutavin, the Child Devourer. Of all the tales about this last one, Kutavin, there is no consensus on their origin. The only thing that is agreed upon is that their presence was first felt in the Granzi Forest. It began simply with flickering lights, blues, greens, and oranges dancing about the trees. It was innocuous enough at first that few felt that there was any danger. At least, not until the first crops began to wither. It began slowly, a, a blight of sinister black rot slowly creeping through the countryside. Folks knew it was the beast of the Granzi, but none would dare tread upon its domain to challenge it. On and on, the pestilence continued to grow and adapt. Hunters began to find the steaming entrails of animals torn asunder. Food became increasingly scarce, and not so many as... Bleh, not so many as to threaten the blossoming nation itself, but enough to terrify the masses. The people began to cry out for help, posting notices for adventurers to deal with their problem. The first adventurers to take up the call were found not long after they entered Kutavin's domain. Scouts saw the group limping out of the forest, their skin turned inside out, and their screams muffled by blood pouring from their exposed flesh. The horrific depictions of this first group's defeat was enough to deter most of the inexperienced adventurers from trying their hand at this quest. Unfortunately, though, as time dragged on and adventuring group and adventuring group returned from the forest in horrifying defeat, the Brevins began to lose hope. The only silver lining for the people of Bravoy was that this beast had yet to leave the woods. Surely they could survive the blight. However, not long after they stopped sending adventurers into the Maw of the Black Forest, children began to disappear. Like the Blight, not many, at least not at first. One would disappear, then a half a year later another, then three months later another, and then one a month, then two a month, until finally the Brevins could no longer ignore the Beast of the Black Woods. They called upon adventurers once again, hoping to find somebody, anybody, who could deliver them from this Blight. But there was no relief. There is no succor against the beast. And when the supply of children grows thin, the death stops, the memory fades, and the larder swell. The terror of the monster, called Kutavin from the old Issian word for scavenger, calls upon stronger and stronger adventures, and they fall, all of them. That is until about a century ago. A group of adventurers traveled to Bravoy after hearing stories of the dark beast of the Granzi Forest. The four heroes, Del Cathanway, Zarek Jik, Eladara Thane, and Varen, set forth into the heart of darkness as so many before them have to take the fight to Kutavin. Unlike all of their predecessors, these heroes were successful. They slew the dark beast in the Granzi, and the champion Varen cut its heart out from its chest. 
Some say that Varen devoured the heart, containing its evil within her. Others say she wore it emblazoned upon her armor for the rest of her days. The truth is unclear, but what is known is that with the monster of the forest slain, the people of Bravoy could finally take a breath. Huh. Well, okay, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And they all lived happily ever after. Or something. It's in okay. his conversation, it's his conversations, Bo hears that story from the sage. It's one of the early st stories from Bravoy. Hmm. Do I do I know of any of these heroes or whatnot? I have Brevoy lore, so like would I have heard of these heroes and what they did after this legend? Hmm. Go ahead and roll me a check. Alright. Bo, Bo's over here. Uh public or secret? Uh secret. Okay. And again, you can't hear a point to give yourself advantage. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Our first recorded rolls monitored. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I wonder, does it record secret rolls? It's a good question. And then the second one. It does not. It shows average dice rolled two, or total dice rolled two, but it doesn't give statistics. Interesting. Yeah, you have two blind rolls which are not track. Ash GMs to push rolls. Interesting. Okay. All right. Bo, you have read about these four heroes. They are they were talked about more heavily among the Brevins, but um, the story has kind of fallen along the wayside because it has been about, you know, 150, 100 years. No, sure. 100 years. It has been about 100 years since these events happened. That's right, 100 years. And so the story has kind of fallen into the background uh, a little bit more. Um the ultimate fate of the heroes is unknown. They did end up traveling away from Brevoy, uh, all except for Varen. Uh, Varen, the champion who claimed the heart, stayed uh, in the area of Brevoy. It's unclear um, if she stayed in Brevoy itself or if she just stayed in the region, but she didn't travel afar afterwards. Um, more or less, they dropped off of the uh, off of the public. Uh, public eye after all this happened like there were celebrations and everything like thank you, you got kutavin good job blah 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 blah. but once the you know uh celebration and everything faded they all made efforts to sort of get out of the public eye as much as possible uh especially varin so while varin hasn't been seen anywhere else and had you know just a few sightings throughout the rest of her life in the area of brevoy um there's nothing else really uh, that comes up about like other heroic acts that they did. Hmm. Uh, in where did you say the Kutavan fight was? Uh, in the Granzi forest. The Granzi forest. Okay. It is the large forest in the northeastern right. portion of Brevoy. It's pretty close to the tower, which is north of it. Yes, the Brunderton was just along the south side, and uh, the river that you all were traveling along over here, yeah. this is the south side of the Gronzi Forest. Mm, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Is there description oh. of Varen? Not that you have found, no. Hmm. Um... Yeah, Bo thinks him. I mean, the more the things that are brought up about Brevoy is the, the possibility that he could potentially use them to help uh, the cause.
Outside of that, though, okay. I don't think um, I don't think he'd stay in Avondale too much longer after that. Um, he'd do a week of just library and whatnot just to learn up. He's been studying certain skills a lot lately. Um, but uh, then he'd head back out uh, probably at the end of the month. All right. Uh, did we do earn income actions? I do see that we did earn income actions at the end of the last one, so we yeah. should all be good there. So we will get to month seven. Uh, this will be for the majority of Bo's return trip will be happening in this month. Uh, this is March. Yay! Or the March equivalent. Is um the the winter still holding? Like snow still around and pretty pretty hard winter. Uh, no, it is starting to alleviate a little bit. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, major monthly occurrences. Um, Bo won't be around for this, but Dorthra is going to inform the party that she has completed her device. Um, it will uh, she will be able to use it to uh, basically by you by tapping into her magical link to uh, Arask, you know, that sympathetic link, the, you know, father-daughter type thing, um, to locate where he has most recently been. And she finds that he his most recent signatures were from over a year ago. He has not been on the planet since, as far as she can tell. And in his last, in the last places that he was in the world before something happened, he was in Daggermark, in Starfall, and in Iobaria. Hmm. When, when you say Starfall, you mean the Starfall that's currently encumbered by uh, plants and stuff? No, the the one over no, in Numeria. The original yeah, Starfall, the, okay. The capital city of Numeria is called Starfall. Okay. And then the first location you Dagger went, Mark. Or is that just the country? It was in Daggermark, which Dagger is a uh, a large city in the River Kingdoms. And then I have Bari. Which Int is over the mountain ranges from Bravoy into Kazmaran. Interesting Bravoy locations. Gotcha. Okay. But yes, he traveled to those places in his final like uh, bit of time here in Galarian um, before disappearing. Dorthris says that um, she is going to work on fine-tuning the device so she can figure out the order. Basically, you know, what is the weakest signature to the next weakest to the one after that? You know, so that way you can see which was actually the last, which order he took going between them. Okay. Uh, that's her future, her future project. Oh, and in Iobaria, it was the city of Kyria. Kiria. K I R Y A. Uh, is um, Miss Car there, or is it just Asa and Cor? Where's Car? Cards at the refuge. Cars at the refuge with uh, Dorothra, so she would relay to the group. Yes. Um, and oh, this would yeah. go to Asa and Cor. So Asa and Cor would know this. Kara would bring that to them. Uh, Bo would learn that at the end of the month. And, um, of course, not there. Maddie would learn whenever Asa decided to share it. Of course, not in the city. No. Yeah, of course, in gestation at the moment. That's right. You went to your cocoon. I shared with everybody on my weekly my <laughs> calls that everybody gets. Yeah. Because I have to call every night that, uh, uh, that Dorothra finished the Arask thing. Um, I also. I also, I, we're not getting into what people are doing yet, but yes, I would have shared that. Awesome. All right, then uh, let's actually get into what people are doing. Uh, monthly goals. We know that, Bo, your monthly goal is to get back to uh, Mivon. Will it take all month? It is a long journey. One, two, uh, yes, I believe I wrote down 
3.5 weeks to get to Avondale. You Ugh. left at the start of last month. So you have like a week in Avondale to research, gather information, etc., etc. Then 3.5 weeks back. So you'll basically get back at the end of the month. Damn. I do have the bike, right? Did I take the bike? I think I took the bike. You did. Yeah. Did you? I think because so. You, we cut out the river path here. So I think you traveled up and then took a river. A riverboat. Oh, man, maybe I did. Just based on the pathing here. Alright, I guess so. Oh, I thought I thought you took the bike, but uh, maybe maybe the river was quicker. I don't remember. I was like I said, COVID brain. All right, and obviously travel was uh, made more difficult by it being in the middle of winter. Yeah. Um, fortunately, though, here at the end, on your way back, it will be a lot easier uh, to manage. Nice. Um, okay, so after Bo, what does Asa want to... Uh, actually, Kor. Kor is yep. just dating for this month. I am sure just dating. I am doing egg things. I am doing cocoon things. I am evolving. Like a Pokemon. All right, just don't mash buttons because we want you to evolve. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Kara, what does Kara have as her goals for this month? Uh, Kara's going to go to Mevon and basically get and get up on to up to date on all the information that she's been absent for. Um, and she's gonna go talk to Asa and uh try and get a try to get in contact with Lunaria. To uh, get in contact with whoever is dealing with the whoever can help deal with the invasion that's a, imminent of the Dominion of Black. Okay, Asa. Um, I will just continue to do my stuff. Um, you I really network and expand your Bart Mart business. Yeah. Uh, I really want to make sure that word is getting up to um, this area that uh, use use mundane fire to burn down the weird plant growth. You need to stop it. <laughs> it's urgent. Um, That'll be fine. <laughs> sort of make sure that that is uh, prominent in everybody's minds. Um, I will uh, keep in contact with Bo and Maddie and Kara. Uh, it cores in a cocoon or something, so I'm not going to mess with them. But um, <laughs> the other the other three, um, I will have contacted Lunaria to um, kind of talk about the uh, the weird plant growth um, that I think that that may have connections to the Dominion of the Black if they want to come check it out or send somebody to check it out. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's a big deal. And then, um, man, anything else that I want to do specifically? Um, you want to research the three places since you have the library skill? Yeah. Starfall, Kyria, and Iobaria. And what was the third Dagger place? Daggermark. Agrabah? Daggermark. Oh, Daggermark. Yeah. <laughs> Agrabah. Agrabah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, man. Yeah. I don't know about that. You genies? I'm going there. <laughs> uh, th and then, yes. Um, I will research those three places. Um, uh, and I know that Mivon's library is limited, much to my deep, deep chagrin. So uh, I will also send out feelers to see if I can get any information that way about those places. Uh, notably, why a Rask would go there. So if there's anything magical or some sort of, like, um, natural phenomenon that people kind of don't really talk about or anything or, or any strong presence of, like, uh, the cult of Zamex or people who are... Um, uh, oh not disposed inclined 
toward um like that kind of extraterrestrial stuff. And lastly, Maddie. Have I escaped the Mosquito Witch? <laughs> uh, yes, by this point you have made it out of the domain of the Mosquito Witch. Yay! Yay! I'm sure there will be no consequences for what happened there. You survived! <laughs> um, so, I guess I'm heading south some more? Um, following the river on horseback. Right. Go. Uh, we will go ahead and resolve that. Is traveling. Is Maddie trying to find people at this point, or is she staying away? Um, I probably should find people because, like, horseback's not going to get me there as fast as, say, a boat. Maybe if I don't stay on a boat, there won't be problems. Like, maybe I just keep changing boats. Maybe that's the new plan. Just keep changing boats. Oh, God. All right. Um, I actually need to get the front door. I'll be right back, and then we'll go into uh, actually processing roles. Um, for now, we can save that car. We'll get back to uh, Mivon if you actually want to talk to somebody. I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, cool. Okay. All right. Um, car is going to go to Ace's shop. Okay. Welcome to my store. Hey, um, I got. What? Hold on, are we gonna wait till Seth comes back? Oh, okay, I thought we were doing. I thought you. I thought you gave us the blessing to go forward without him. I'm sorry. Oh. That's why I interpreted it anyway. Oh. I. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. I thought. I thought it was just. We we're just gonna wait for him. You can wait for him. Let's wait. I'm gonna get Let's wait. so many hexes uncovered on my way back. Just in case. Yeah, just go like this way and get this this place right here. You just go sure that way. Happen. Yeah. I'm sure, nothing no. bad will happen if you go here. Nothing just, bad. Just go here. Go 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 here, Noburu. Is that a go yeah. here? Is that nothing go bad here, Noburu? Go here. Go there. Why why didn't I go that way? That's a lot shorter. There's a, yeah, no, it's a lot shorter. You should just go here. There's nothing to worry about going here. Oh my god. Let me take a look. There's oh, nothing. Don't even think about it. Don't research it. Just go here. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, Urgen? Isn't this the fo This is the Imbeth Forest. Isn't don't this read up it. Just, just go here. Isn't, isn't this just where everyone like that walks it. into it just insta dies? Don't <clears throat> worry about it. Look, <laughs> it's not the first time we've entered a weird, spooky forest uh, on the map. Like, And that turned out fine. <laughs> Right? Sure. Yeah. That's <laughs> completely. Yeah. Nobody's with you. Just so you know. I mean, doesn't it only kill elves? I should be fine. That's actually not what it is. That's what are isn't you that the part elf. It's so much worse. I the thought... only kill elves thing is a disease. Yeah, but further... it was like one woods, wasn't it? I think it's like further south. Yeah, Arch, Arch was it's... way farther away. Arch, it's not. It. It's not the woods itself. It's the actual portal. Oh, you that... know, right. That does it. So, or the the you, arch. Do you want me to sum it up in four words? Sure. Time shenanigans and Fey. Mm -hmm. Oh, great! More time shenanigans. And Fey. Look, I it's I game of mine. This. You can be guaranteed if it's a game that I'm running, there's going to be Eldric stuff, time stuff, and Fey. <laughs> God damn it, Sess! I thought we'd move past this. Never. Apparently <laughs> not. Never. Never indeed. 
Look, I'm not saying that I'm slowly just waiting for us to turn into more different Pentarchs, but I'm slowly waiting for us to turn into more different Pentarchs so no. I can throw the same suggestion as last game. I don't want to be another Pentarch. If I was going to be another Pentarch, I'd be Leroy again. That's the I only mean... Pentarch. Exactly. I'm obviously turning into Erland, unfortunately. Oh, God. Here we and go. Crit does. I, I mean... Bowie's charismatic as fuck, so I guess he's the narrow. I don't know. You're going to need a little more chaos in your life. That's true. He's definitely not nearly as chaotic. There's never enough chaos in the local game that we're doing. Yeah, now now that I think old. about it, it's just the charisma that he has in common with Nero. Mmm, <laughs> that charisma, though. All right, he's back. You can talk now. All right. Now, did you want to do the checks? Okay, let's go down the list. Bo. Yeah. Are you taking a boat? Will it be faster? Or are you traveling on your own? It would likely be faster. Probably, yeah. Um, and how much money do I got? I got money. Yeah, I got money. Y'all think about. All right. You will say that it is counteracted by your earned income. Nice. Four. Yeah. You just stayed successfully, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad. Glad <laughs> we made it. Maddie, roll me a survival. I know you're only following a river, but the river kingdoms are kind of complex. Secret? Yes. Yeah! Patty's going to be gone for like four years. Just keep getting lost. Can't get to Absalon. All the way back. People keep attacking her. She She's never coming back. Like, heard about I, the horned red witch. <laughs> she travels the rivers, stealing souls. Uh huh. Okay. Just like, I, I just wanted to ride. <laughs> I'd be just like, okay, look, I, I, I appreciate the theatrics, but all right, you follow the river southward. Yay! Uh, a decent distance. Until the river and, you know, the, the river heading southwards is going through the forest. And it ends at the southern end of the forest. Well, that seems bad. Is there and a... reach the end of the river. Is there a yeah, giant get... lake in front of them? Okay. Yeah, it's not a giant lake. You want portion for me. Oh. Are you... Isn't this river supposed to go all the way? It's supposed like... to go all the way, yeah. <laughs> that's bad. The correct river is supposed to go all the way. That's really bad, dude. <laughs> the oh. correct river? What a terrible thing to say! You're... How specific! <laughs> yeah. Not the correct river! You actually are going to be gone for four years, dude. <laughs> that's very bad. We are I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I gotta find a river. Excuse me a moment. Joe said as he traveled the river kingdoms. <laughs> Joe said as he didn't make the right turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> Look, he was escaping from the Mosquito Witch. Things were getting wild. Uh, oh, just a little wild, huh? Just a little wild. Alright, so well... How does, uh, how does Maddie want to try to get out of this? Alright. So... I have an option. I have options to make. Like, I should be able to use the, the sun to determine the southwardly direction. And I've got a geese enough survival score that I, I can I can say that comfortably. Now, the question is, is that do, do I need to go east or west to get back to the correct river? It's very true. So it's going to be a 50-50 split. <laughs> and we're going to say, if it's low, I go east. And if I, it's high, I go west. This is a... I'm going southwest, guys. Let's see what happens. Dangerous roll. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. To be fair, southwest should be the direction. You're coming 
technically from the northeast. So, unless his escape from the mosquito witch took him too far west, <laughs> that would be yeah. crazy. He went over to be north of Keonan. <laughs> All right, well, so that's fine. That was all Huh? You're heading southwest. I am heading southwest, hoping to refind my river. I pray to God you find it. Man, how'd you fuck it up? <laughs> it's like it's like you were walking along the Mississippi and somehow got lost on a creek. It's a massive river. No, no, it's the River Kingdoms. It's a lot of rivers. <laughs> There are so many rivers, and it's sometimes like they criss and cross, and you're just like, "Well, I wow. guess it's that one." If only I had a compass to tell which way the river is flowing south. Wow! I just use the sun. I mean, true. There's that as well. Asa knows how to build a compass. She can tell you how to build one easy. Could just like, use the sun. I'm okay with that. It's like, <laughs> Manny and Bogut, just use the sun. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ace is like, All please right. let me make something. <laughs> you go traveling across plains uh, as you get out of the forest. As you do. Rolling hills, beautiful landscape. The area starts to get increasingly barren, though. Um, you know, the grass doesn't grow as high up. It doesn't have as much lush color, uh, even for spring. And it starts to get rather hilly, but you do find a small river running uh, through these uh, through these hills. It's heading uh, west and east. It is flowing west, however. Oh no! I'm gonna follow it. Are you following west, or are you going upriver east? Uh, no, we're we're gonna follow it. We're gonna follow the direction of the flow, because in theory, the river empties out into, like, that big, um, sea Does area. It? Are you sure? I'm, I'm making things up as I go. <laughs> Do we know that it flows that way? The, the the big river does. All the little rivers, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. It's fine, guys. I'm, I'm guessing you're walking into fucking drama right now, and that's bad. <laughs> if, if that's the case, you're so far off course. <laughs> That's not a <laughs> Look, no matter how lost I get, just remember, guys, I will know that I uh, b before I accidentally walk into a portal because I can sense portals. There you go. Right side of things. Silver lining. <laughs> You're super safe. <laughs> Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Where are you? <laughs> oh like, no! Because <laughs> like, there's a the 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 river Why kingdoms so many dice? surrounding so many? areas is mostly like trees and shit. To be in a barren area, it, it, like you you might be very far west. <laughs> uh, remember that time uh, Joe's character died during downtime? Yeah. It was. It was pretty standard part Some, of the course. Somehow he just ended up in Chiliax. It was like, oh my god. <laughs> the best part is that since Ace reaches down on a near nightly basis, <laughs> it's just Ace is sitting in a room, <laughs> finger simply going, "God damn it." <laughs> <Maddie>. <laughs> God damn it, I thought we talked I'm about I'm slowly this. constructing a map in my own house. Yes. <laughs> I go to that map and visit it every day and just memorize parts of it, and then I go and I draw it at the map in my house. It's like... So that I can be like, all right, where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> just map it out. Now you know Leroy's pain. Maddie, while you were traveling along the river feel something is a little bit off. It takes you a little bit before you notice. There's a black cat following you. Oh, great. What? That might be a good There's thing. a black cat following you. Like a house cat? Like a house cat. It's following you. It's got its decent distance back, but it's definitely following you. Uh... 
All right. So that's super weird. However, my only saving grace is that I know it can't be the familiar of the Mosquito Witch because it's a cat and not some sort of bug. <laughs> um, as I travel, like when I put uh, in the night and you know, do, do my uh, nightly setup, which involves summoning a house, um, I will leave food out for the cat just a little bit. What kind of food do you leave out? Uh, dried meat, mostly. Okay. Roll me a diplomacy. What about a nature? Nature works. Oh. Nature works. <laughs> Boom. Pretty good. Congratulations, you're now a cat owner. <laughs> Guys, I'm not a witch, but I got a familiar. <laughs> I'm not oh, a witch. I, I know why the cat's after you. She thinks you're a scratching post. Could be. Right. The next morning when you wake up, you find that the scraps of meat are gone, and the cat is sitting uh, about three feet away from the front of your door. Just looking up at the door, waiting for you to open it. It's looking right at you as the door opens. Well, hello there. It meows, turns, and starts walking southward. Meow. Honestly? Bo appeared out of magic. That's fine. I'm good with this. This is not the weirdest day of my life. Not even top three. <laughs> Maddie will start following the cat. Oh, girl. Here we go. All right. And over the next two to three days, uh, following the cat, you are no longer following the river. You are out in uh, Plainsland among uh, outcroppings of trees. But before too long, you do end up finding yourself along a path. And you start running into uh, a couple travelers here or there. And before long, you end up at the edge of a... Of a not a small town, but of a large city, uh, but not like a, a yeah, not stone walled or anything, but still a fairly large city in terms of just size of the buildings and whatnot. All right, where the f are there guards? Like, like are, are there guards at the entrance? Uh, if you head forward and you look at the entrance, um, there. Are in fact guards, yes. Is the cat walking into the city? The cat has stopped when getting within eyesight of the city. Alright. It seems to be observing you. Are we going in? It meows. Non committally. Yeah, alright. Well let's let's find out where I am and then we can course correct. Maddie will go towards the entrance and uh, find the guards. All right, he heads towards the entrance. He hears that the city is uh, uh, definitely uh, loud and bustling. Lots of people are moving about. He can see that there is a market just inside of this main gate. Uh, when he gets up at the front, he sees the guards. Um, they are relatively uh, low armored. Uh, they seem to be mostly wearing uh, leathers, maybe a little bit of chain here or there. Um, yeah, and they're holding halberds as you walk on up to him. Greetings. Uh, hi. I've uh, gotten myself horribly lost. Where? Uh, what? Uh, where is this? What city is this? Oh well. Welcome to Woodsedge. Woodsedge. What the fuck is that? Is that one of the cities that was on my uh, list? Hmm. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh yeah! Look at that. Yeah, you're right. in the right direction. Where are you trying to head? I am on my way. Um, hang on one second. I'm heading towards the Star Bay. I'm gonna check. Uh, I cannot recall the name of the town. Absalom. 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 I'm heading to Absalom. Fantastic. Yeah, that'll be easy enough. If you come on in this way, head through the west gate. There is a path that leads out about a about half a mile, that'll bring you right down to the river. That's uh, where the harbor is. 
Thank you. All right. Uh, Maddie will uh, uh, head in. Is the cat following? The cat is no longer following. Oh. In fact, as he looks back, the cat is no longer around. Oh, that's sad. Mm. Also really weird. You're cursed now. Oh no! Shocking new change of developments! <laughs> the most shocking it's ever been. <laughs> Alright, Maddie will uh, head towards the harbor then. While traveling through the city, uh, Maddie would pass through the city square and sees uh, dead center in the middle of the square a rather beautifully and almost grim uh, guillotine at the center. Oh, lovely. Oh, no. It is beautifully designed, though. Like, genuinely. It, it's, a, it's a thing of beauty. And, uh, you know, just being somebody who is well acquainted with magic, he can tell that there's a great deal of magic emanating off of this thing. Um... All right. There's a picture. Oh, lovely. Mm. Gorgeous. You know it's there. Piece of machinery, really. It's like a, <laughs> you know, a significant uh, town, like, icon, if you will, just being dead center. Does it eat capitalists? Yes. I'm pretty sure it'll eat whoever they put into it. Yes. <laughs> 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 all right if you continue on past them you all will you will head out of the west gate before too much longer and head down to the harbor where you can uh, find yourself a boat all right maddie's only intent uh, intention is to only take it down to uh bellis and uh then find a new uh boat after that All right, and with Maddie finally back on track, having luckily evaded some of the worst things on the list of random events, um, you will have <laughs> no more issues with direction. Okay. Hang on, just a note: some of the worst things on the list, which means that cat was not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a What's... bad thing either. It's What's a... wrong with Fair my enough. cats? There's... God, I hate hate that. That could have been so bad, guys. You have no idea. Black cats deserve love, too. They do. They do. They tend to be good luck things in my games. Yes. <laughs> See, I like that. All right. Um, so that will handle Maddie's travel. Uh, Kara, you go heading to Mivan. Um, and you were going to try to get in contact with Lunaria, I believe? Yeah. How are you going to achieve that? Uh, I'm going to have uh, Asa use her sending to contact Lunaria and just, like, try to set up a meeting place when she has time, when Lunaria has a moment. All right, and Asa. You continue spending your time focusing on your uh, expanding your network and business. Um, you feel like you're kind of hitting the upper end of what you're going to be able to expand your business into in a market like Mivan. There's just not enough clientele to continue to support much more expansion than what you've done already. However, your orphan network is going rather well. Oh, good. Excellent. That's oh. Of all the things I want to hear, that's the best one. Um, cool. I don't like move on. They don't have a big enough library. I would like to move, and if I'm going to settle, I want to settle somewhere where I have more access to magical research, even if I have to put in the work to, like, be able to get access to that. So can I do some research on towns or, so like, cities, places that we can go where I can do this again? Um but in a place that is going to be either more of a central hub or give me access to higher level, more advanced magics. 
Let's see. I would say that you would know that it's largely going to come down to city size, mm. uh, being able to support stuff. And as you might imagine, uh, the largest city in the region is New Stetman, mm. uh, which I guess you'd uh, eliminate for other reasons. The second largest is looking like Daggermark, which is far off to the west. Okay. Um, to the northwest, there is Starfall, but the area is particularly barbarous. That said, Starfall itself is rather um, is, is civilized to a great degree, and because it is this major point of um, you know research about stuff that has fallen through the sky and whatnot, it is a major center of learning to a degree. Okay. I think those are about it for like the really big locations you could probably jump to. Yeah. Okay. Then I will, um, I'll just keep that in mind and, uh, I won't try and I'll, I'll just try and, um, I guess keep the business going with like, uh, just simple things that I can do for people. Um, I'm not going to expend myself trying to craft like really, uh, exciting huge things like um, this isn't the market for it um, if uh, the mayor needs my help I will gladly offer it anything House Kilvis needs I will gladly do it um, putting aside anything that's not ex explicitly extremely urgent which is probably nothing um, to help them instead um, just to keep those contacts healthy um, and then otherwise I will start um, doing research on Daggermark and how I'm going to own Daggermark uh, in the future. <laughs> cool. I heard. I heard that Carl wanted to talk to me. Yeah, I'll be at the next phase. Okay. Go ahead and roll me society or library lore. Okay, where are my skills? You would think I would know what they are by now. Okay, oh, society or library. Uh, okay. Um. I am going to roll a library. This is going to be a blind roll. Question mark? Yep. Okay. Uh, and then I will spend a hero point to roll with advantage. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know that Daggermark is the largest of the cities in the River Kingdoms. You know that it is a surprisingly stable part of the River Kingdoms, thanks to the coalition of two guilds the Daggermark Assassin's Guild and the Daggermark Poisoner's Guild. Um, these two groups uh, work hand in hand to maintain order within the city, at least order that serves their own purposes. Um, the king, or rather like the, the leaders of the town are by and large just faces for these two guilds. They're really the powerhouse behind everything. You know that the leaders uh, that the Daggermark's Assassin Guild and the Daggermark's Poisoner's Guild operate mainly out of Daggermark, but they have far-reaching influence across the River Kingdoms at large. Um, in effect, you're seeing that this is basically the power center of the River Kingdoms. You know that of all of the history of the River Kingdoms that you're able to dig up, uh, no one has ever attacked Daggermark. Um, or sorry, no one has ever successfully attacked Daggermark. The few that have tried have met swift defeats, with their leadership all becoming poisoned rather efficiently, um, regardless of how much they attempted to uh, you know, evade that exact fate, which pretty much everybody expects. At this point, Daggermark has such a fearsome reputation among the River Kingdoms that people generally leave it alone and bow to its rule. Hmm. 
Okay. Do I get a sense that uh, that oh, last thing? Mm -hmm. Dagger Mark is the center for the annual meeting among all the leaders of the River Kingdoms called the Outlaw Council. Because Dagger Mark is the one place where they can all recognize no one's going to start shit. Okay. Do I get a sense that there's a niche I can fill in Dagger Mark? Because Assassins and Poisoners, to me, sounds like not high magic based um but i would like to to be able to fill a niche for them but also i want there to be some sort of like learning is there a university or something in dagger mark or is it mostly just like it is run by these two guilds and that is it and it's the only reason it's a big city is because of the stranglehold that these two guilds have on it it is a large city because it has stability, something that's very mm -hmm. rare in the River Kingdoms. Okay. By and large, the River Kingdoms history is marked by, hey, I've got a city. I'm going to rule this place. I'm going to expand. Oh, shit, that person just came and killed me. And then that same thing happens to the person that just killed them. It's a constant thing of a growing empire getting destroyed. Then another growing empire destroyed. Then another and destroyed. It just it happens over and over and over and over and over and over and over again to the point that it is almost impossible to find one country that has endured for a long time, except Daggermark. Daggermark has managed to endure the rise and collapse of the River Kingdoms, of the various River Kingdoms over and over again. As such, it has incredible amounts of stability for the region. It is very well guarded, as Daggermark also has the largest military in the region. Um, yeah, and like I said, it's the place where the leaders of all the other River Kingdoms feel safe enough to come together because no one's going to start shit. So that's the niche that Daggermark fills. Right. In terms of, like, scholarly learning, it is large enough that it would have some degree of it. Mm -hmm. It is close enough to Usulav that, you know, stuff would be brought in. It's not like... It, far up in the northeast where it's you know in bumfuck nowhere it is still close enough to other parts of the world to gather stuff and with enough people there would be at least some degree of interest in terms of building a niche um if there's not uh much in the way of magical experts there assassins most definitely want to have uh the best magical you know tools available to them so, yeah, there would definitely be a niche to fit there, magically speaking, if there isn't somebody already filling it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Excellent. That's that's the that's the stuff I want to know. Um, okay. Thank you. All right, then I think that brings us to the end of the month. Oh, wait, just one more thing. Okay. How far away is Dagger Mark? I think it's on the map, is it? It is, just it barely is? on the map. It's about 500 miles away. Okay, that's not too bad. It's I mean, yes, map. it is bad. It's, it's on the map. map. That's good it's side. It's on the map. <laughs> it's not Absalom, which is not on the map. <laughs> it was supposed to be an easy trip. I was just supposed <laughs> to ride the boat. Yep, yep. You're cursed, buddy. Yeah, about that. You guys let me travel alone. <laughs> I mean... I mean, let's think about it. Were you really gonna not do it? Oh, no, I was 100% going to do it. <laughs> yeah. If this character dies because of this trip, I will laugh my ass off. Yeah, that will be really <laughs> funny, though. <laughs> All right. We come through to the end of the month. D 
do earn income actions. Maddie is traveling. Bo, you are traveling to get back, offsetting your earned income by, you know, the cost of travel and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm, I was going to... So, Asa and Kara. Oh, Kara? Yeah, I was just going to do a scene during the uh, second phase. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, All real, right. real quick before that, Sess, I get off a boat right here. So as I'm walking back to Mivon, I'd like these hexes uh, uncovered. <laughs> I'll go here and then... Uh, oh, wait, there's trees. Are I'm you not... running the forest? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, gonna, gonna metagame real quick so I don't lose a fucking year. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Alright. Um, Kara's gonna go ahead and head into the shop. Um, Asa, one thing you notice about Kara when she enters, that she looks very different than the last time you saw her. Uh, she's dressed differently. She's, uh, wearing, uh, she's not wearing her leather armor anymore. She's wearing very loose-fitting clothing in, uh, looks like greens and yellows, uh, mostly. Uh, she's also got a, uh, basically a do-rag on, a little headband. And uh, her, uh, the solar shell flower is gone. She currently has what appears to be a large hand, a large cannon what? on her back. God, the Gantz tank rifle. And uh, yeah, she actually looks a lot more muscular now too. Like she's uh its not like super edge tone, but she's definitely more tone and stuff. And she's got like this uh, look of more determination on her face. Um, she approaches you in the shop, and uh, before you can say a word, she jumps across the back counter and uh, puts her back to the wall. Hey, how's it going? Asa's gonna lean over and look out the door. I don't One think they followed you. Looking in and just like, what's going on? Who is this? You know, like they they were the scout, but you know, what's this? A weird lady. So go go on. Go to, like, alert. It's fine. It's fine. This one's okay. Who are we talking to? Oh, um, right. That is, um, that's Jess. Uh, but it's, it's fine. I called her off. You don't have to worry about it. Who's Jess? Uh, Jess is part of the prism. God, she's in charge of scouting. She usually scouts for the shop in particular. What do you say? Do you who's, 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 who's the person who's the, who's the, walking away from the door? <laughs> who's the prison guard? <laughs> As I say, who's Jess? Who's the prison guard? Uh, I have uh, acquired a network of informers. Well, I mean, they do different things now. A lot of them gather information, but they do serve different, um, uh, you know, tasks and specialities. Uh, but they all work for me, and they gather information for me. How old is that kid? Uh, Jess? She's... I think nearly 12. I need to, um, get a message to Lunaria. And, uh, I need to relay to you guys. I don't know where Bo and Cora are, I haven't seen them in town. But uh, we found, uh, um, Dorthra's basically found, uh, three points where, uh, Orask was last at, and she's trying to l narrow down to wh where, which point he was at first and which point he was at last. Uh, the three locations are Daggermark, Starfall, and this place called Kissier in uh, Iobaria. So we're going to okay. have to look into that soon. Excellent. Yeah, I'll look into it. No problem there. Um, that's great news. Uh, it's lovely to know where Arask went and what he may have been doing. Uh, right. Core uh, is out gestating. I'm not sure when they'll be back. I figure they are goo in a cocoon at the moment. I don't really know about the sort the dragon transformation process i don't know if it's like um caterpillars into butterflies you know how they turn into like a goo and then they coalesce into a butterfly i don't know it's not really anything i've studied or been interested in uh but Bo uh, went off to see a guru about 
something uh, about some artifacts for Coral uh, to sort of up his claim that he is a Regarvian and that he is the rightful heir to the throne and all of that business. So he should be back soon? Hmm, well... You know, it's optimistic to say that he should be back soon. Maddie, her journey wasn't supposed to take very long at all. And yet, it has taken her quite a few interesting places. Um, so, Bo, even though he tells me that everything is going fine, I have no idea if it's actually going fine. He could be anywhere. So, hopefully, he'll be back soon. Yeah. Hopefully. You, um, updated your outfit? Yeah, I just thought it was time for a change. Alright. So why are you using, like... What's this prison guard thing about? I, I heard you were... You. Because people are calling you Mother Embers now? <sighs> I tried to dissuade that so hard. You have no idea how long I campaigned for something against that. I wanted, like like archmage embers or like the wizard embers or like the terror em in mother embers came out i mean it's because of the orphans but fortunately um yeah why are you uh, using orphans oh uh, well um because they need sustenance and support and i pay them money to do basically standing around um or learning their letters and knowledge. Um, it's sort of, it's not quite a school, um, but I do teach them things. And uh, I do teach some of them magic, the ones who have the aptitude for it. But, uh, you know, the younger ones, their minds are more open. So um, they learn easier. And people tend not to notice them. They're often ignored. Yeah, and so you're sending them out to uh, get information for you? More or less. Alright. Um. Alright. Um, well, let me know when you get contact with Lunaria. Sure thing. I um, I try to wait till the end of the day every time uh, before I start contacting all of our allies uh, to contact her since it is her spell. So uh, I do have a sending ready to go and I'll contact her right now. Uh, what exactly did you want me to tell her? You have 25 words. Basically, I want to try and get in contact with uh, whatever church she's affiliated with who can help us prepare for the invasion of the Dominion of Black. The Dominion of the Black is invading. That's the impression that I got. From something in particular? Yeah, the one with the cloaking device went down. It was there for a reason. Yes. I figure it's just a matter of time at this point. You saw what happened at Ugamot. They don't fuck around. And if there is people here who can help us prepare for when that happens, I'd like to get in touch with them now before things hit the shit hit the f shit hit the before things get t terrible. All right. Um, you haven't heard any information of uh, particulars, though. Um, any sort of emergent signs of them arriving or any more landfalls? from um, their ships or creatures or anything like that? No, nothing, no. Alright. At least nothing that we don't know about already. Well, I haven't heard anything either. Uh, so, yeah, I will let her know that uh, we would like to schedule a meeting. Alright then. Uh, she hops over the desk and starts hanging toward the door, and she's about to open it when she just stops. She turns around. You know, it's fine. Uh, just get, let me know when you have it. And she leaves. 
All right. I mean, I was going to send right now, but feel free to go okay, on Okay, fine. Your way. If you're going to send right now, I'll just wait. Well, yeah. I... Okay. I'm going to send to Lunaria. Uh, I will send... Um... Gosh. You want to write something up? I would like a meeting with you, if possible. Somewhere near Mivon. Discuss tactics, plans for fighting uh, the cult of Zamax, the Dominion. Let me know. You received a response. I am very far away. I will have somebody closer contact you. All right. She's apparently very far away and she'll have someone else contact us. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to wait and see how that happens. I'll just be in the neighborhood then. Okay. Uh, Core should be back any time. Um, oh, wait. Cancel that. Sorry. She's going to respond uh, differently. She's going to respond differently, actually. <laughs> Hold up. No, I'm going to get another call. Fire. I'm gonna get under the... fire! She realizes it makes no sense to do that way. Hang on. She responds, I will reach out to you shortly. Oh, she must be really busy because she said she'll uh, let me know later. All right. Well, let me know. All right. I'm trying to stay in town. Dorothy should be fine in the refuge for a bit. So I'll get in or something. Okay. All right. Are you, you, you going to have trouble staying in town? You said you'll try. Well, it's, I don't know. I'll just think, see how, how pricey things are. It's, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go find an end. <laughs> no, I don't need money. I'm fine. All right. Okay, I'm going. Farewell. He walks out the door. Orphans eye you up. So say Jess is standing like arms crossed next to the door. Yeah. You gonna stop and to Jess? Barging it. Just kneel down towards her. Jess pulls a gun. <laughs> Jess would never be that crude. <laughs> Somebody else has a gun on car right now. <laughs> Out of you. Three others have a gun. <laughs> Then she gets up and walks away. She says. All right. That evening. Huh. Asa, when you go to sleep, you find yourself standing in a open field. Lots of glittering stars in the sky. And you see Lunaria perched atop a rock. Hello. Hello. This was you sooner than I thought. Right. Um... One of, I realized um, retroactively that, like, a servant of the goddess of dreams and whatnot should probably have this spell. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's better dream message because uh, they yeah, are able to converse. Interact. Yeah. Uh, right, of course. Um, uh, one of my uh, retinue is concerned about the um, probably inevitable encroachment of the Dominion of the Black upon our lands now that we're exposed. 
Is there anything that we can do to train for it or be prepared? Ludar is just like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, man, sorry. <laughs> Shit. That sounds bad, dude. Shit. <laughs> like, I mean, I could handle it, but like, I'm a direct servant of the gods. You're just like a dude. Lara's like, they're calling you like Mother of Embers or something. <laughs> like, that's cool. Lara's just like eating Doritos. I mean, like, that sounds tough, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I can't have you there. Of the worlds that we have seen consumed, the greatest issue has always been organization. Getting sufficient force able to leverage against the encroaching attack. The Dominion is very good at playing upon people's weaknesses. Promises of power, of wealth, of immortality, of any sort of thing that they think can skew the mind of a mortal. And those who are more open to that will generally become servants to them, usually to their great downfall. The worlds that have most been most resilient are those who are organized well enough to keep power away from this kind of person. I would say that for the time being, the best thing that you can do is leverage your positions, gather what forces you can, and build as much unity as possible among your kin. However, my colleagues among the church say that that is unlikely on this world. We are likely going to need to find some other solution. Right, well, um, this place that we're in right now, well, not this place that we're in right now, but the place that I am at currently it's called the river kingdoms and it is completely at war with each other all the time uh, i don't know how to foster unity that way so yes uh, your colleagues are probably correct and it's going to be difficult to to make everyone work together especially uh, i mean unless the dominion does something really flashy that unites everybody but it seems like they're more in insidious than that and, and that's the big worry they are insidious at the beginning but they will be flashy when the time comes to begin conversion right they will Have likely you? start in a place with with a large population and seek to expand out from there they work subtly at first most of the time creating strife within civilizations, within societies, in such a way that their agents are able to capitalize upon it, gain power, and then leverage that power to uh, make people more vulnerable to their mental trickery. Is there anything that helps me provide evidence to people that I may need to persuade? Any sort of um, anything that I can do to expose Asian agents of the Dominion, um, any anything really that I can offer to people that this is a threat that's incumbent, and motivate them. I'm not a very motivating person. People tend to find me very abrasive. Agents of the Church maintain a a specially designed type of spyglass which is capable of ascertaining the aura of a being and determine whether or not they are uh, compromised directly by energies of the Dominion of the Black. Unfortunately, there is no way to detect outside of um, observation and good judgment whether or not somebody is corrupted of their own willpower, but for somebody who has been uh, mentally subverted, uh, the spy glasses are a rather effective tool. I would seek out your local chapter de dedicated to Desna. Desna, all right. Okay, um... Are there any weapons or tools 
that are useful against the dominion that we could perhaps produce or encourage people to become familiar with. There is no particular material that is more effective against them than others. Their most powerful tool tends to be mental manipulation, mind altering and memory eating. I would bolster your mental defenses the best you can, as that will be the most efficient means of fighting them off. If you can avoid becoming enwrapped by their mental trickery, cutting through them is the same as cutting through any living being. Right. Um, I will use figment to create the spyglass that we have and ask her, uh, is, is this one of those spyglasses? Yes, that is one of these spyglasses. Excellent. Good to know. All right. Um, I did want to know, did you check out the foliage in the, um, the area north of here that seems to be possibly from the tapestry um, that's uh, taking over the land. Were you able to look into that? I was. It appears that it is a form of... It appears that it is a creature of the Dominion of the Black that has been expanded out across this type of, uh, this type of plant life. It is as if a single being in multiple pieces and is expanding outwards. It will need to be recontained. Unfortunately, we do not have an expert on containment here. All right. Yes, I've only been able to determine that uh, fire can quell its expansion. Fire is a very handy tool for that in general. Most things can be quelled uh, with fire, at least mundane fire. That's true. If you are able to make contact with, I believe the name was Zoriostra. If you can make, if you can make contact with Zoriostra, he was an expert on containment on this world of these types of beings, but we have been un unable to contact him since our arrival. All right. I will definitely look into that, actually. Thank you. And please let me know if you do find them. We, we are greatly benefited by being able to contain Eldritch beings, as you can never truly kill them. You can burn them back, you can reduce them, but they will always regenerate back in the the more that you cut into them, the more they grow back out. Containment is ultimately the best tool for stopping their expansion. That is good to know. All right. Um, yes, I think that is all that I have. Is there anything that you need of, of me or of us? Any way we can help you? Not at this time. Things are still in the early stages. We are working. Uh, we are working to set up defenses and to deal Unreal. with the encroachments that have happened already. Understood. Uh, thank you, Lenaria. Uh, your your help is much appreciated. Of course, that is what we are here for. While it doesn't see well. The political situation on this world is not ideal for resistance. I will say that it is not deterministic. There is still a good chance that we will be able to stem the tide. Your optimism is, is lovely. Lovely. I really enjoy that. Um, I'll try to keep it in mind. Alright, with that the dream will begin to fade. All right, and then the next day you can pass that off if you want. Okay, uh, I will send out feelers for Zoriostra, see if I can get anything about that person. Um, 
when you then... wake up and you get out of like the sleep deprived brain, <laughs> that's a Ras last name. A Ras is Oriostra. Oh, fuck me. All right. <laughs> yep, that makes Specialist sense. Specialist in containing electric beings who yep. makes the batteries out of them. Yep. Yep. I knew it sounded familiar. Uh, yeah, he because has a Desna familiar. spyglass. He's definitely associated with Desna on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Because it always makes you think of Zoroastrian, so I, when I first saw it, I was like, okay. But yeah. Of course, of course. Fucking, fucking rask. Alright. Ah! Excellent. Alright, good to know. Uh, yeah, I will ha um, send out my uh, scouts to go find Kara. Meanwhile, um, I don't know who has a spyglass. Does Kara have the spyglass? Yes, Kara has a spyglass. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I will send out my horde to find Kara. Your horde. All right. These bunch of children just across so Kara, and she's just like, oh, God. Scatter here. children. Yep. Um. Children. Ah. She's going to go back to the uh, Ace's shop. Kids, can you give us the room, please? They look to Ace. I was just about to say, Jess looks to Asa. <laughs> 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 it's all right it's all right jess um i might have a need for you later so check back in about an hour or so um but you're you're good to go about your regular duties all right and they head out so yeah, Yes, um, I talked to Lunaria last night. She came to me in a dream, uh, which makes sense because she serves the goddess of dreams. Um, she says that the best way to defeat the Dominion of the Black is to be extremely organized uh, and to have unity, which, you know, is nice. Uh, yeah. She said that uh, the Dominion of the Black generally tries to control people. They find people who are power hungry or greedy or they really need something badly and they f turn that against them to use them and control them. And generally those people are in positions of power and then they use those positions of power to overtake cities and the like. Um, they usually start in a largely populated area um, and start converting there just so they have a base of operations. Uh, strangely enough, it sounds like what is happening in Bravoy. Um, but, you know, great. Let's hope that that's not it. Uh, let's see. The spyglass that we found, um, it is able to... You're able to use it to f look at people and see whether or not they are being controlled by the Dominion. So if you could hand it over, I would like to analyze it and see if I might be able to dissect it and replicate it so that we could all have a spyglass or it could be something more useful like goggles or a monocle or something. Maybe. Um, but I would like to at least attempt that. Uh, right, right. And um, Lunaria is looking for, uh, you know, a, a really well-studied person who deals in containment of things like uh, these entities from the Dominion. And it's Orask. So uh, everyone's looking for him, apparently. Which is great. Uh, and, and that's basically all that she said. Um, but she seemed very open to speaking, so uh, uh, if you would like me to talk to her again, if I didn't get all the information that she wanted, then surely um, she would be more than willing to speak with me again. My main thing is I just want to see if there's anyone on the planet I can contact to help organize things. Like, uh, it's, it's part of the Church of Desna. Should I go to the Church of Desna? Is there like a specific church I should go to, or is it just any church? I think it is any temple of Desna. Um, but yes, that'll probably be useful. It seemed as though... To me, Lunari Lunaria gave the feeling that it is up to us. And I don't mean 
you and I specifically, but the people of Galarian, to unite against the Dominion ourselves. Which, you know, um, difficult to say the least on a scale pretty high up there. All right. I shall take the hourglass. She'll take the uh, the telescope and uh, basically place it on the counter. There you go. If you want to analyze it, see what you can figure out with it. Thank you. I will try to replicate it. We'll see how long that takes. Um. All right. How do I put this? Um, I've been having a lot of anger issues lately, and uh, a lot of it's centered around you. So when I came in here yesterday, and uh, you told me that you're using children as informants to do dangerous work, it's kind of pissing me off. So I went ahead and had a little sleep on it, see if I feel the same, and I kind of do. I don't understand why you're using children to do this kind of work when they could easily get their th th their cut their uh, throats cut from it. I don't generally what I do with them is just have them be around be in areas to gather information I don't send them anywhere in particular to infiltrate houses to infiltrate um dens of iniquity or anything like that but the truth is that children are unnoticed most of the time and orphans in particular are ignored um, blatantly in some cases in a lot of cases um, people don't want to see them don't want to have that around so they are invisible for the most part. And this was a good way to teach them skills that they can use in their lives and also to give them money in a way that isn't infantilizing, charity, I suppose. So, yes. I chose to use the orphans to give them a job and money and to provide me with a benefit that I need. Everything's dangerous, Clara. Especially starving on the street. Yeah, I know a little something about that. I thought you might. And I can understand why that's sensitive for you. Alright, well, if you're gonna have these kids running out doing stuff, I might as well make sure they're doing it right. Let me go ahead and teach these kids some shit. Give them a better chance of making it out of this... Their tasks without any problems. Uh, certainly. Um, let's say you would probably be well to deal with uh, Jess, who is in charge of the scouts with green. Um, Shay is generally orange. 
and Shay is in charge of the, um, what do you call it, like the casual listen. Her members tend to be in places where things are happening and pay attention. Uh, possibly the ones who are in the most danger are Violet, um, who is led by Sam. And uh, even though I have told him over and over again that we don't break into people's houses, that we don't break into businesses, we don't do anything of that sort, I feel that he is possibly doing that. So he is um, putting himself in danger, uh, despite what I have warned him, and um, those under him probably follow the same thing. Um, they generally tend to work in the poor parts of town, where most um, certain kind of illegal activity occurs. They are probably the ones in the most uh, danger, as you say. Um, but those are the groups that I would start with if you were wanting to pass on some of your skills. All right, then. I'll get on that. i got nothing else to do the month. Sure. And if you need anything from me, feel free to ask. Uh, when Core comes back, whenever that will be, they run a clinic out of my shop on Thursdays, and they always welcome more help. Um, and you can help them if you'd like to see them, though I don't know when they're scheduled to be back. But I do have money if you need it, and I could possibly offer you, um, if you're looking for some work, I might be able to find something for you. And all you need to do is ask. I think I've gotten everything I need for you for now. Excellent. Uh, I could pay you a wage for instructing my um, children. No, I think we're good. All right. Let's let the kids know and I'll go ahead and get them started tomorrow. Of course. Jess, you heard everything, correct? She confirms. Mm hmm Spread the word. Thank you. You can follow Jess out if you can keep up with her. All right. Jess doesn't seem fully on board, but... Of course not! <laughs> All right, and that's the end of the uh, car stuff for the month. He's going to be training these kids how to run, hide, and uh, escape grapples. All of the grapples. The grappinator. All right, then, unless anyone else has anything, we'll do our incomes real quick. If only I could earn income passively, just evolving. Uh, Ara and Asa, either of you want to do anything that's going to make you money throughout the day? Throughout the month? Well, if I have time between teaching the kids stuff, I'll do some, like, earn income stuff. So you have ten days of time All where right. you can put that time aside. Alright, I'm going to put some time aside, and I'm going to go ahead and use, uh... I have acrobatic performer, so I'm going to do some acrobatics. Perform it. Acrobatic performing. Say so you can find up to level 5 here. Acrobatic performing. Acrobatics. I'm just shy. Yeah, you still make about 20 silver over the course Why of Why do I have a minus 1 armor pen check penalty? What you wearing? It's strength plus two. You're wearing explorer's clothes, which is bulk one, which is highlighted in red. No. Are you over bulk? Oh, hang no, on. Because it's not mm. equipped. Or an armor. Try roll. Uh, do a roll now. Do an acrobatics real quick. All right. Uh, yeah, because I would have been a six C with that. Yeah, but my uh, act, my acrobatics is eight plus eighteen. Oh damn. Oh. 
That was weird. That was really weird. Well, it, it has to do something with the earned income check then. Because you just flat rolled acrobatics there and then. I'm going to try, try, the, try roll again and see what happens. I wonder if it was pulling from an old character sheet. Maybe. Yeah, that was pulling from right, the more character sheet. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna. I got plus eighteen now. It says plus eighteen, so I'll roll this. Nice. There we go. I got ten GP. What about Asa? Okay. Uh, I am trying to just run the business. I think that there's probably not a lot of um, income coming in from the mayor anymore with the town. Uh, so it'll it'll just be business as usual. Okay. Um, let's say you can use library lore. Uh, it'll be a level five for the city. Um, and just do, let's say, 15 days. And we'll say that the other 15 days worth the time was uh, you paying wages and all that stuff out of your earned income. Okay. The mayor is the leader of House Kilvis, right? Because they won the tournament? Oof. No, uh, that's rough. Can I re-roll it? Uh, yeah. Okay. I will re-roll. Uh, no, and I don't think Kilvis won the tournament the no? last year. Um, I believe it is still Telic. Telic. Yeah, that's who you told me, that it was Telic. That's yeah. right. I forgot about Telic. House Kilvis is one of the strongest houses, but Telic is uh, from a separate house, but is on very good standing with Kilvis. Okay, so... Um... Oh, I, I just re-rolled the, the, uh, the roll, and I got a success. Income roll. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully we'll get a success and we won't have to worry about it. Go get it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Bunch of 35 silver. Okay. Could have been a 20. I could have been. Could have been nice. Mm -hmm. Why do they say it is 135 silver and not convert that to gold? Because it's 9 silver per day, so instead of converting it, it just says across 10 days. Uh. It starts 15 days, you get 15 instances of 9 silver. All right, and the other half of it would have been paying wages and stuff to the kids and okay. the investing okay. in the business. All right, April, the eighth month. Mivon is going to be is prepping up to run its annual its summertime uh, annual festival. This is the one that you came to last year originally, the first time Bo competed. So last year was the summer one. Then there was the winter one where you competed as well for the holiday, and now mm -hmm. it's coming back to the the summer one, the the bigger one. Mm. That's this month, or they're prepping for it? They're prepping for it this month. It's probably going to happen next month in May. Okay. Uh, second thing, uh, a little bit more uh, alarming, potentially. Those of you who are in Mivon currently, which is everybody but, uh, Man. but Maddie, you all hear um, that the Gnarl Marches is no longer a safe place to travel. A circle of druids have apparently laid claim to the, to the forest and are declaring that Brevoy and Mivon are no longer welcome within the forest, and that trespassers will be met with a swift and brutal death. Hmm. They are calling themselves the Circle of Kutavin. Fuck. That's not good. News has traveled into the cities that the trees of the Nara Marches themselves have started to uproot and move. That's great. Perfect. Man, I'm Sorry. glad we're surrounded by all these trees that fucking get up and move and attack people in all directions of us. Sure makes me feel safe. Oh, yeah. It's, feel, it's great. It's grand, even. Grand. Just super grand. 
All right. So that is what you all learn at the start of this month. Super. Get another set of notes ready. Do, 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 do. All right. How is uh, Cora doing with gestation? Um, it's been about a month, right? I uh, guess this will be the month following the start of gestation. All right. Day hatching. All right. So Cora is going to hatch this month. Whatever that counts as. Breaking out of the crystal thing. Whatever. What is Kara going to do with this month? Well, the beginning of the month, before anything, she's going to go to Aislinn and have her send into a sending to Scaris to find out if the refuge has been in a way impacted by these druids. <laughs> okay, Kara's going to investigate the status of refuge. What else? It really depends on what happens to refuge. Like, uh, she might have to mount a she might have to mount a mission to uh, basically get she wants to get Dorthra out of refuge and back into uh, Mevon since the Naramages are no longer safe. That's her goal for like uh, that's her main goal for this uh, month to take the month to like de to deal with all that. All right, Asa. Yeah, well, I will um, send to Scars uh, as soon as possible um, to relay Kara's message like, hey, is everything all right out there? Do we need to come uh, rescue Dorothra? What's going on? Um, and then uh, I will, the rest of the time I am trying to get as much information as I can about Daggermark. And also, uh, the majority of my focus is going to be on um, dismantling the spyglass, figuring out how it works, and see if I can replicate it. All right. Bo. Uh, Bo will start... Like right as you return to town. Right. Bo will, will start out the month... By having a talk with Asa and Kara, um, concerning a few things. After that, he'll uh, put out word um, around Mivon that in a week, he'd like um, all of his uh, friends and companions that he's made and Mivon all contacts and just anybody that would come in general to meet at the... Um, that that giant inn that we stayed at the last year, um, the the really big one. Uh, that one night, there will be a meeting there that Bo wants to talk with all these people. Uh, the broken knee. The broken knee. That's right. Tavern uh, operated by <clears throat> Zeus for all the ogre. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then uh, and then we'll do what I talked to you about, and that's gonna be his month. And Maddie travels. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I would walk 500. At the start of the month, Ace is going to reach out to Scarus to get a sit rep. Scarus will respond to Isa that Refuge is uh, not in danger. They have not... Uh, they... That refuge is not in danger. They are aware of the Circle's presence. The Circle has worked with them in the past, um, though they have never actually taken up the defense of the Gnarl Marches before. This Circle, uh, he would report, comes from the north. And he says that in 25 words. Excellent. Yeah, I will pass the information on to Kara that it seems like he believes that they are okay now. Um, but I will tell Kara that I will check in as often as she wants. 
um, as long as I don't have to use the sending for Lunaria. All right. Um, I guess like uh, Scar wants to just communicate with Scar to find out whether or not she can come back to refuge or not to get Dorthra, or if they're gonna get attacked by trees. And if not, if they are, then they're trying to negotiate something with the Circle to, so that she can go get Dorthra back and bring her to Mivon so that she can be with the group. How is Kara communicating this? Oh, uh, well, Scars comes over to the, uh, if Scars doesn't come to Mivon for, like, a tournament or anything, she'll just, uh, have Ace do a sending. Again. Okay, so you, you want to, you just want to go up there and grab Dorthra? Yeah, if we're not allowed back into the Nara Woods, I'd want, I don't want Dorthra stuck in refuge without us. I want to bring her to Mivon, so I need to, like, negotiate how that's going to work out with these uh, druids. Okay. I I may be wrong, but I got an impression that the druids weren't that far south yet, or they just weren't, or was it that they just weren't messing with refuge? It's that refuge has worked with the druids in the past. They come from the far north, um, but they've never really taken interest in protecting the Nara Marshes before, like as a focus, and that seems to be what they're doing now. Um, I would say based on the reports that you've heard about trees walking, it, they are operating out of the south portion. Okay. Refuge okay. is just not in any danger itself. Yeah. Basically. Okay, because of previous stuff. Okay, yeah. then I think the best course of action would probably be to have Scars bring Dortha here. Yeah, if he's allowed to do that, that'd be great. And uh, maybe tell us about these druids. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask uh, Scars if he could bring Dorthra out in here to Mivon. Scars says he will uh, work to make that possible uh, as soon as he can. Okay, <coughs> he's going to work on it, which right. sounds a little, a little, you know, dubious. But if we have to um, mount a rescue, then we will. But uh, it seems like he's working on it. Okay. All right, so uh, Kara's going for her goals for the month, since she's wait, has to basically wait for Scars to bring her back. Um, she's going to uh, talk to the church and try to find out if there's anyone who knows uh, of any like detachment of the church that's basically prepared to, deal, to help deal with the Dominion of the Black if there uh, is an incursion. Unfortunately, there's not much in the way of... Uh... Of worship for Desna here in Mivon. Ah. Uh, Desna isn't much worshipped uh, in that city. Um, let's see. I'm trying to look through and find places where she is more directly worshipped. Um, the closest area that uh, that Kara would know that um, Desna is worshipped and probably has a temple uh, would be Petax. Great. That place is fucking stable. Um, gonna put a pin in that idea for now. Um, I'm gonna wait to like see what Nobru has to say at his little meeting at the meeting hall because that might affect what I do. But I think I'm gonna actually just start for my monthly goal. Just like I think I'm gonna form a mercenary group. Basically, spend like a. I can probably spend like a hundred gold, gather a group together, and just start doing jobs with them. But like depends on what is doing. I don't know if he's already planning on doing that with his thing. No, not not something like that. Oh me? Uh well, the the start of the month, Bo um comes back to the shop. Uh hopefully Asa and Car are there when he does. Yes? No? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Cool. Uh, he comes in and just says, Hello, I'm back, ladies. Good to see you. Hope everything's doing well. Man, I owe Maddie ten gold now. I didn't think you were going to come back alive. 
But that's a dumb bet. I made it out of the vanishing. I also made it back from death, though. Right. Well, I mean, the vanishing, you had no idea how also, that happened, right? Also, you would know how, if I, I died. Back from death your you soul. Had no idea. Yes, but your it soul is tied to mine. Your you, ingenuity or ability that got no, you out of those no, by the time. No, you, it was saying. Anyways. Good to see you, both of you, Kara. Wonderful, you're back. Hope you love the the new look. Is that a a large gun you have on your back? Yes, it's a very large gun. Okay, wonderful. Bitches love <clears throat> cannons. It's true. Um, thank you, Jess. Uh, uh, well, I um, I've heard um some things. I talked with the um the sage. I learned um, a little bit more information. I know that uh, one of the artifacts that we don't know about, the scepter, is very much uh, most likely in Kor's possession. Um, I also learned that uh, all three artifacts have certain abilities of their own, but for the most part work as sort of orbs of dragon kind for different type of dragons the primal the arcane and the occult with primal being the crown arcane being the ring and occult being the scepter um <clears throat> this could be why coral is pushing south to potentially come down here to mivon after maybe learning of the ring's presence and trying to reclaim it um but it's besides the point um i also learned that there's potential ways of how to take the ring um and the curse away from house kilvis um but it sounds as if most of the options are uh, very 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 difficult um we would need to find artifacts that would be of legend to potentially replace the ring or we would need a sort of anti-magic sort of um staff or a wand uh no rod rather um, right, a rod of cancellation a rod of cancellation yes exactly um a very rare item that apparently is also extremely hard to find um it's an option it is but honestly um i think it may just be best to potentially leave the ring within house kilvis's care and potentially try for the crown at a later date when hopefully maddie gets back and everyone is ready to pick up the gear again and we could talk on what we want to do um but that's what i learned oh and there's another thing um i did hear about the druid circle and the nar marches on my way into town um uh, the circle is representative or at the very least an offshoot of a old Bravoyan legend um from about a hundred years ago where a creature was um in the woods um near Branderton actually that would cause um grand amounts of trout and death and um disappearances uh eventually um adventurers were able to claim it and to take down the monster but uh the most of the party left there was one member though that may have ate the heart may have worn the heart for the rest of their days um they just sort of kind of faded away into existence but seemingly stayed within Brevoy, um, or at least within the range of it, uh, from what the legend says. <clears throat> so this cult seems to be an offshoot of that. Maybe they worship them. It's possible that the hero that did something with the creature's heart is one of them. I, I don't know if they are an elf or a dwarf or a human or a kobold. They could be dead. They could live for a very long time. Um, it's a whole thing. Uh, so, yes. 
that's pretty much what I've I've learned. How's things been with you two? Well, we found out about uh, where Orask was last. The three places he was last on the planet. On the um, planet? Was, yeah, on the planet. Because he's not on the planet anymore. Wonderful. Yeah, it was it was Daggermark, Starfall, <coughs> Numeria, and uh, this place called Skiria in uh, Iobaria. Uh, K I R Y A. Yeah, sorry, do, I can't. I just, I just can't remember it. <laughs> do, do we know the location? Uh, we, we know that there's a barbarian king that's wearing the crown in Ibari in a city. Do we know what the city's called? Uh, you know that there is a Cyclops. Uh, Cyclops, right? Cyclops king. Um, I believe you all did get the city. I think it started with an M. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was it's, that. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Mishkar. Mishkar. Mishkar, that's what's up, yeah. So, yeah. different city, okay. Yeah. Um, interesting. Um, could be useful read. Kor has uh, kind of disappeared, and he, she's uh, apparently uh, gone to a cocoon. Yes. I don't know if you were there for that. No, um, she was leaving for that just as I left. Um, something to, to do with her nature she seemed to know that that was something she had to do so i'm sure i'm sure they're fine i do have a, a little <coughs> bit of a theory there's not much to support it at present but do tell. i talked to lenoria uh, about uh, potentially ways to stave off the Dominion, what we can do to counteract it, all at um, Kara's behest. And Lunaria said that uh, unity was the best way to fight the Dominion um, to be because it kind of basically takes over places and organizations and then uses that to control the populace. Uh, and I think it's possible that Coral's abrupt resurrection in return could be linked to that. I don't know for certain, but uh, a, a leader uniting a bunch of people under his reign and stretching out to take over other places at this inauspicious time seems relatively convenient. It's a possibility. I see where you're getting your your steps from. And uh, he's always a legend and whatnot going about things in the wrong way. He's a terrible person, but um, he did make Brevoy. It's not as if he just came to burn everything to the ground and then left ashes. So he has goals, or at least he did. It could be one that potentially he's there to take down the Dominion of the Black. Well, if I'm correct, the Dominion of the Black, um, from what you all told me, the, the reason that they are potentially a threat now to Kadarian is because of what happened in the tower when the shield fell. Is that correct? No, no it's more than me here. It's what happened in the Neural Marches when you all chased down the creature to the top of the spire and it pulled the satellite down out of the mm, sky. Okay. And caused the starfall that crashed in a, over near, over near a Sovereign Hill. So the yeah, first that... Mivon arc basically right. culminated with the cloaking device crashing down. Right. Um, no, that's, it, it was the starfall here in the Neural Marches. So... Cole did come after that. You could be right. Hmm. Well, um, there was one other thing that I wanted to, to talk with you two about. A plan that I've sort of um, come to the conclusion of. Uh, on my trip and my way back, I've thought about it a lot. Um... It's time, it's time I made a move. I've done 
a lot of politicking here in Mivon. I have uh, made a lot of friends and contacts and my name has been thrown out there. Um, I think if I were to quantify myself, I'm a piece on the chessboard now, but I'm a pawn. I am nothing more than a man that talks. And I don't have much outside of that currently. But thanks to Core's help and the posters and the messages that we've continued to push while talking to people, um, I think the people are starting to realize the real threat. And I want to have a meeting. I want to gather the people that I've come to know and anyone in Yvonne, really, that would want to listen. I'm going to gather in a tavern and I'm going to ask the dedicated, the people that won't stand for this, the patriots of the bunch, to join me. I plan to go to Rosslyn. I... I believe that if I have a band of soldiers behind me, we can act as a sort of guerrilla warfare in the back line of Kuo's armies, take out supply lines, potentially hunt down scouts, generals if they're separated, gather more allies and try to bring a, a passion to Restolf. Um, I, I think this is the best step I could do. All right, how are you going to get there? Probably walking. Um, I imagine that, especially now with the Druid Circle taking up the Nile marches, it's a terrible idea to go through there. It was already a terrible idea, with Kuo's armies holding the front. But if you go up the Shrike River, um, to just cut south, uh, cut east, just south of where the chaos of whatever came out of the the Starfall is spreading, and just head around. It'll be a long trip, but we can come through to Brevoy from the north side into to Restoff. Once there, I imagine this band of people is not going to be very large. We'll act as sort of merchants. Um, I actually was going to ask you, Asa, if you would like to come. Um, we need a front in Restoff for why we're there. But also, um, Restov is a is a grand place. It's full of many colleges, um, world renowned colleges at that. Now, more colleges of warfare, but still places of knowledge. It's not a metropolis, but it's a large city, and I feel as someone with your capabilities and your leads to information that you could be a great help to us. But I know it's a large ask. So I wanted to ask you first before I went to potentially gather this band. It won't change my my move. I'm still going to rest off. But it would change the plan drastically. I... Right. Okay. So, you want to gather people to form a coalition in Restolf to attack or unseat Coral? We won't get that far. Right. It's simply guerrilla warfare. It's trying to hold back Coral from pushing farther, cutting supply lines off, 
potentially cutting off reinforcements, making it harder for them to move, and in the meanwhile, spreading the word of the rebellion, hopefully gathering allies and actually gaining a name for me in this fight. And what do you believe that I can contribute? I believe that your network of information is invaluable. And also, you are now a very known um, business owner. Um, you have exploded, yeah, Mivon. And you could potentially work as sort of a front. It would be simply workers for you. Um, we would be there for construction, for helping set up your new shop and helping spread the words, um, sell things. And then come nightfall, we would do our work. It would help with our goals of potentially finding targets. And at the same time, you would get more of a connection. Um, as I said, Restov is a, is a great place. Now, granted, it is wartime, and I'm sure that hurts a lot of the potential in and out of information there, but it's still a place world-renowned. There's bound to be connections there you, you can make. Do I know anything about Restov, and if this is an accurate portrayal of the city? Town? Village? City-state. City-state. Um, you can go ahead and roll, uh, society. Okay, let's roll society. All right. Um, unfortunately, Restov has been a blind spot in your research to this point, so you don't really have a good understanding of much about it. You know that it is almost a counterpart to Mivan, um, and that they were the other city of Sword Lords, but that's about it. So you don't okay. have much of a basis to yeah. judge the accuracy of what he's saying. Okay. How long do you expect this to take? It's hard to say. I can't imagine anything less than a few months. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. And depending on how much we grow and how much word gets out of our actions, um, we may be able to actually start a real presence there in Brevoli. And from there, well, I don't know, we potentially could find people within this band that would take the, the lead while I could come back to the group once Matty and everyone else is reconvened and we could push on with our events. It's... It's all about actually doing something, becoming more than just a pawn in this war. Do you want my two cents on this? Of course. I think that Ace is better suited to uh, stay here just because she can act as a communication hub for everyone else. And that's if we go to rest, if we go to rest off. Then it's just, uh, it's probably going to be not a lot of communication about what's going on outside of Restoff because of all the war going on, disinformation, and people not allowing communications to get to Restoff. If uh, Ace is here, she can hear about all the rumors that are going on in the world, the, how the robots are doing in Numeria, how all these druids are faring, and she can send us messages with her spells. And uh, when uh, Scott, when uh, Maddie does get back, she can uh, let us know when Matt, when Maddie gets back, and uh, we can go ahead and plan our next move from there. And that's a completely fair point. 
um, you are correct of how useful it is to be here in Mivon. It's sort of the center of where we've all been branching out from. Um, there's benefits and cons to both. And um, as I said, I, I, I don't want to pressure you into anything. It's, it's your decision. Um, it probably will be, at the very least, a week until I can gather all these people to tell them of my plan. So I don't even need an answer today. Um, but you're a grand, um, a grand asset, Issa, and I've continued to be one. And I could use you in, um, in the, all of this. Um, and I think Restov could be good for you. But like Kara said, you could also grow here. So it's completely up to you and what you think is best. All right, uh, give me some time to think it through. Of course. Um, and also, as one more side note, when I do gather these people, and hopefully there are people that join, um, I'm going to, to tell the people there um, who I am. I, it has been good to go by the prince here in, in Mivon and to sort of have some sort of secrecy, but uh, I can't build trust with these people who could potentially grow to be my most loyal um, in this army if I don't tell them who I really am. So it could be good, it could be very bad. But either way, I um, wanted to let you uh, both know what I plan to do. You all are, of course, more than welcome to come the night when I do this talk. But um, that's my plan. Okay, one just quick thing I want to cover is uh, if you want to go to uh, Rosteland, uh, if you want Ace to go, then I need to stay. If you want me to go, then Ace should stay. Uh, I think more of us should stay in Mivon. It doesn't matter of who do you want. You're more than welcome to come as well. I, I, I leave that up to both of you. If your, your, yourselves can decide for for you. If neither of you want to come, and for your own reasons, I completely understand. You both would be great assets, Carl. You would be amazing at guerrilla warfare tactics, and could be a, a great boon um, if you're willing to to come. Um, but I won't push you, um, uh, either of you. This is a great ask. You'd be putting your lives at great risk, um, whether it's car on the front lines or even Acer just running a shop. If cause people found out, they would come down very hard. Um, so, again, I, I don't expect a, a yes from either of you, but the offer's on the table. Okay, if I do end up going with you, I'm going to have to... <laughs> Recontact Scaris because I'm gonna probably have Dorothra stay in refuge if it's still secure with the if they're still cool with the druids. So just whatever it's whatever just Asa decides at this point. Oh lovely. Alright. Um well I would I do want to check in with Matty and Core about it, especially if it's going to take months. And see sort of where everyone's at. I have basically outgrown Mivon. Um, I don't plan to stay here. Mm -hmm. um, this will not be my permanent base of operations. I'm planning to take over Dagamark. Um, but, you know, that will be forthcoming in the years to come. Um, Dagamark? Mostly. Yes. The, the, yeah, city of the, the city of the Assassin ah. Guild. You're going to ah, yes. die. They... Takeover is a grandiose way of stating it. I don't want to take over. I would hate ruling something. It, mostly, I just want to be a intricate part of uh, whatever mechanism they have over there. Well, there is a mechanism. I, I don't know the River Kingdoms nearly as much as I know Bervoit, but Dagamark is... They, they play politics like they breathe over there. It mm -hmm. is shady. It is... Um, it's... 
it's information, it's assassinations, it's poison. It is, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's dark. Um, so, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it would be a good place for information for sure, but be very careful, Asa. All right. You aren't breaking the kids, are you? No, no, okay, no, good, no, no. Good. These kids are specifically for, for Mivon. Mivon. Yes. Yeah. No, it'll be other kids. Hmm. The ones that the assassins and the poisoners don't take. That's I right. don't know if there's. There might be a dearth of orphans over there. They might all be employed. I mean, assassination guild is happening over there, so a lot of parents must be dying. Hmm. Yeah, you know, or you know, you could get consenting adults. I mean, everyone looks at Just adults. It out there. Yes, that is a suggestion that I will take under advisement. Very well. Sensing tension. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sure it'll bring the mood down greatly. Um, wonderful. Um, so, is there anything else? Um you two need of me i i think i need to start spreading the word um i'm probably going to have the the talk um in the uh the, the broken knee um about a week from now all right make sure to plan <coughs> your exits yes yes that's a good idea asa need anything for me any any work that needs to be done people to talk to no no, I don't think so. Not at the moment. You've done a great job laying a foundation, so I don't really require that from you at Thank the you. moment. But when do you plan on... Sorry. When do you plan on going to Rostland? Like, at the end of the month? I assume that if I can gather this band in the saloon, um, if we can get these people together, I probably will leave relatively quickly. We'll need to gather supplies. They'll need people will need to say goodbye. And I don't know, a week. So maybe at the end of the month, maybe halfway through the month. Not anything later than the end of the month. But I, I have my goal in mind, so I'm um I've done enough talking. I'm ready to act. So the sooner the better. All right. Um, perfect. Well, um, like you said, uh, Asa, you, um, the, the shop seems to be doing wonderfully and the information network as well, but, um, with you potentially looking to expand and me moving, um, to, uh, rest off for a war effort, if there's anything you need for me in the next few weeks to make sure that things continue to stay afloat, um, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. I will probably use that at some. Perfect. Perfect. Um, also, I, you've gotten to sort of have a rapport with Kilvis, yes? Yes. I wonder mm. if it's good to give them a warning. Um, I'm sure they know. They have grand amounts of resources, but it's probably best to mention um, about the ring uh, and to tell them that Coral is most specifically probably coming for them uh, as well as Mivon in as a whole, but for them specifically. So. Would you I think be you're right that they know their information, but yes, I think it would be better if we gave it to them just in case. Yes. That that would be a good uh, a good thing to do. Yes. Uh, I I think it might be best for you to go out to do that. Um, I don't think they're stupid, and the rumors have been going. I mean, 
I've been calling myself the Golden Prince for damn near half a year in this town. People are getting suspicious. Um, I think Kilvis knows my, my true identity, and I don't know how they feel about that. So it's probably best that I don't go. But they seem to like you, so maybe you go by yourself? Sure. Of course. Perfect. Perfect. Has anyone checked on call? Is, is, is there like a cocoon? Um, I, they like went to a river, yes? Do we know where in the river they are? Oh, I just heard about this. Hmm. Um, not really. They weren't particularly forthcoming. Just, uh, you know, that eventually they'd come out. I'm sure they're fine. I mean, this is like nature. You know, this is like how turtles mm -hmm. know to go to the ocean after they're hatched. So... I'm so happy to know that you're worried about me. Yes. Jess? <laughs> Jess, get out of here. We're talking about core. Well, you're speaking to them. But... I mean, it's kind of hard to miss the dragon person in the room, don't you think? Oh. Hi, Cor. When did you get here? Well, you look different. Back. I got here about ten minutes ago. I've been hiding in the corner. Hiding <laughs> the the dragon person. <laughs> I am a bit hard to miss, given all the thin flare amongst other things. Um, it's good to see you're fine. Um, what what happened? Well, I mean to put it simply. My nature needed to change, therefore, I have changed. How so? Yes, to put it non-simply, um, what do you mean? Well, you couldn't very well have an innocent child with you, could you? We did it for a year, but somehow. Two of them, yeah. technically, it wasn't good. Somehow, indeed. Are, are you saying... Are you saying you're older now? I guess you could say that. I have matured. To what degree, I do not know. This transformation is still new to me, but... Not unlikable, I think. You're not unlikable, or the transformation's not unlikable? The transformation. Hmm. I'm sure it remains to be seen whether or not uh, whatever new personality I have managed to evolve from this is tolerable. So it completely changed your personality? I don't know about that. But I certainly have a better um, understanding of things. But I have missed a few weeks. I think it's been about two months. Hmm. And I've missed quite a lot. As my late rival, I am not privy to many of the details that I'm sure you were discussing. But, uh, I don't exactly want to interrupt the flow of conversation. You know, we were winding down. We were, um, probably about to go our separate ways. We just finished getting caught up. Um, what would you like to talk? Well, it seems that you already have plans for what you wish to do here. I only can offer my assistance. Did you want to go to Rostland? It is within my desire to make sure that Bo is safe. We could do that, um, if you'd like to come. Um, uh, Ayura is, is always something that's good to have. Um, I, I will point that uh, we may need to get you a very large cloak or some sort of disguise spell. If we're trying to keep a low profile and rest off, um, 
uh, you do stick out um, a bit, Cor. I suppose it is... Yes, that is... Well... I don't disagree with you there. I'm sure there's something that we can find, but I'm not sure if Mivan might have a cloak of disguise that would work. But um, I suppose Asa would know a thing or two about that. I feel you're going to have to sort of explain all of this to me. Um... What happened? What's going on with all of this? And what are your goals now? Well, I mean, if I put it bluntly, I feel my goals are essentially the same. I can just simply speak about them in a much better way than I could have previously. My previous mental state, early as it was, mm, wasn't exactly aware how to express themselves in an appropriate manner. I believe it is best if I ensure Bo's safety. Specifically Bo. Well, as well as the rest of you, of course. But I am aiding Bo in his resistance effort, and I wish to continue to do so. Well, you will need to spread the word and rest off, so your efforts could be of use. Yes, I will need to explain a lot of what has happened in my changes, I, I understand, but Hopefully, it's not actually too much to really go over. It's simply an evolution. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting new you. I've missed you, frankly. You missed me? Well, thank you. I've missed you too. Though I'm not really sure how aware I was when I was technically asleep. Is Dorthra okay? Yeah, Dorthra should be fine. She's at refuge at the moment. She's working on uh, on pinpointing exactly where uh, Orask was last. Hmm. I see. I remember a device? Yeah. She was yeah. planning a device, really? Yeah, it was some kind of device. I don't really understand all the mechanics of it, but she managed to explain a few minor things for me. Well, from my memory, I certainly don't know how any of Dorthra's designs worked at all, but it's good to see that she's designing something. Yeah. He seems really eager to get a rest back, just like the rest of us. Oh, and how have the children been? Have they been alright? No terrible cuts or bruises, I hope. No one have died, that's what I've heard of. My employees? Yes, your employees. Right, uh, they are doing well. Very capable. Good. Well, I suppose... Um, well, I, I suppose how long are we going to be staying in Mivan, then? If you're coming with me, it's going to be somewhere between two weeks and a month. Mm. All right, then. Then I suppose I can open up the clinic for maybe two more weeks, depending. If that offer still stands, of course, I would not like to presume that I simply have space to use. Yeah, uh, I've been closing on Thursdays as usual. Then okay, I'll make sure to give you the five silver for the rent. Ah, uh, you were right. Two. 
I guess it is a little bit of a change. <laughs> right, uh, just a little change, yeah. Yes. Yes, just, just a wee bit there. Do you um, have any sort of additional knowledge on this? Do you know what you might be? No? I don't know inherently what I am, though I believe these... What was the dragon type that we discussed? What the uh, Eternal. used to be? Yes. It seems to match that description. Fast growth, mm, advanced intelligence, and other things of that nature, though I have no idea if any of those other infinite dragons mm, evolved the way that I have. It's sort of hard to say, since I, not, I haven't exactly met any, but um, I suppose it's still up in the air whether that it is that for sure or not but um i'm sure a bit more reading and maybe a bit more inference might add to that knowledge bank at least all right you've been uh in that gestating for a while now are you hungry do you want to get some food or something oh my goodness i am starving yeah let's go to a nice restaurant i'll go and treat you I might regret it, but I'll treat you. Regret it? Oh, no, 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 no. I would never make you regret such a thing. You've been paying for me so, so nicely. I, of course, I, I, I'm not... Yes, I would love to have dinner. All right, well, let's go get you some dinner. Seems like we're all about done here, right, guys? That's all I have to say. Right, uh, yes. Yes, just waiting on more information about what's happening before we make any sort of decision. Yeah. All right. Well, um, well I will head out as well. If you're going to get... Uh, I mean, are you not... Do you not want dinner with us? I have to start spreading the message. Oh, Very kind so of them, but... Uh, I have to start going back around and telling people I'm here, and, uh... Oh, certainly a full belly would make that a little bit easier. I'm quite fine. I've had rations, I'm on my way in, and I'm... Uh, I'm I'm more motivated to, to get this uh, going. But thank well, you. Well, I'd, ha I'd hardly call rations food, but... Oh, well. If I can't convince you, then I might as well stop. All right, let's go and get going, man. All right. Also, you must tell me about this huge cannon you're carrying. What is that? Is that a, is that a cannon? A gun? What is that? Listen, bitches love cannons. Oh, right, the bitch thing. Yeah. You lean over to bow. Is this right? Do bitches love cannons? Do I need a cannon? Um, well, um, no. <laughs> I, I, I've never, I've never found a woman that said, you know what I really love is, um, artillery. <laughs> Massive artillery. Mm. I, I guess it takes all types. Maybe it's different from, I, I mean, the, down in the, the River Kingdoms. Actually, it it's, looks amazing. Cora. It's it's probably right that down in the River Kingdoms that they do love mm. um, giant weaponry. No, that makes sense. I mean, I like books, but they've been fairly useless in that regard. In that regard, yes. No, mm. I, are you looking? Or, no, uh, not well, at that, all. That's, not that's exactly. I, just I didn't another... think that you getting books was to, to, to pick up chicks. Absolutely not. That is the most heinous thing anyone's ever said to me in my whole life. You, you uh, sort of said it yourself. It was just another knowledge category that I wanted to fill in. Oh, you know, really? What, what do bitches want? And I put cans on there tentatively. I had books on there. 
just who? just one. Um, not not say, not for the best of it. As Jess, you're under your employ. You would look very bitching with a cannon on your back, or you could also use a giant textbook. Oh my dear, I could not carry a cannon. Or, or a, a giant, giant textbook. textbook. <laughs> I can barely Six carry a text. <laughs> you can barely carry a textbook. Fucking sense. Understood, man. <laughs> you spent over half a year starting a business, creating information network. I haven't seen you lift one weight in this entire time. You didn't think that was something you should do? Why? What do you mean? Why? I Hold this, have... and he pulls out his bow step. Hold it. Mm. Go ahead. Just hold it. You don't have to lift it. Hold it. I... Listen, I I carry around a staff, and I pull out my, my fire staff. <laughs> Tribbling. I, I carry this around all the time. Sure. I can... I can... I pick up the poster. I can hold to this. Oh, both of them. Wow, impressive. But at the same time? Yes. Give that you back. Take give, it back. Give it back. Give it back. Yeah. You're going to pass out. Give it to you. Um, but uh, just to, to reiterate, um, uh, no pressure. I, of course, would would love to, to have your help. But I know you have a lot going on, and you've done wonderful in doing so. Um, so, if you come, that's great. If not, I'll still be there and ready to come back whenever it's needed. You've been putting this off for a long time, and it's been something that you've wanted since the beginning, and something that I have been interested in providing for you. So, unless uh, something comes up about the information that makes it particularly heinous or dangerous to go with you, then I will go with you. I just kind of clasp her on the shoulder and smiling. Thank you, Asa. All right, then I'll stay here and be the uh, communication one. Oh, oh, God. I thought you guys had left, Fuck. but you're still here. My heart. Well, Corky's I... coming back, okay? Is it what are you talking okay? about? This is yes. They look nothing at all. This is literally five Fine. feet shorter. This is a, this is a, ch a human child. I thought, okay, I thought it was poor. I thought it was poor. <laughs> I will say that your friend is very tall, and very scaly, and um, I don't know how they keep their tail getting stuck from doors. It is a a mystery to all of us since the beginning. I'm going to go. I have to to go talk to many people. But I'll be around town if you need me. Alright, I will try and figure out these spy glasses. Why? You know what? That's going to be a whole other talk. Never mind. Good luck with it. And we all separate. Alright. We'll go ahead and do the rolls and all that uh, next week. As it all is right. And I am very tired. Alright. I assume we'll also find out if anything interesting happened to Maddie next week. Yes. I will walk by. Alright, what we get through that? Like a month and a half that time? A yep. Half, a month and a half. I got you. I got a rousing speech right. to do next week. Rousing. <laughs> yep. Then we gotta save you from the guillotine. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I will actually describe what the fuck Corey looks like next time, but have fun with that in your head. <sighs> Alright, good night, everyone. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Bye.